bar and I'd have a big bowl of steam mussels at the end of a long day. And it's just a fun, great, family-friendly neighborhood place. It's called Uncle Sal's and we've got we've got the whole gang. We got the boys in studio starting with James Molinari. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too. So how long has uh, Uncle Sal's been there on that corner? It's the south it's the southwest side of Hayden and Osborne. Since eighty six. Nineteen eighty six. Nineteen eighty six. All right. James, give us a little preview of who the family is and how who is working there now and well, how long they've all been working there. Well, we'll start with my mom. She's been there probably the longest. I would say about 15 years now. She's um, the one that gave me the big bowl of muscles. Probably, know? probably. And then, you know, you got my brother who's been there over 10 years now. He's my twin brother. I've been there for over 10 years now. Um, my grandma, uh, told me she's in the office every day. She's been there for probably about, well, ever since the day we took over the place. So little over 10 years now. Um, my best friends, I got all my, my mom's best friends. My mom's been bartending with her friend, her, uh, Marianne, for probably about 30 years now. Oh, man. And, and they've just been together for forever, and we've all stuck stuck pretty close. You know? it, we're going to find out sort of what an unusual and fun place it is to, um, to, to work and to just kind of hang out and enjoy some good food. Um, you are, tell me what you do on a day day-to-day basis? Um, I pretty much open the place up, close the place down, and everything in between. I mean, I cook, I clean, I get ready for, for cater outs. You do it all. Do it all. Do it all. Order, accept orders, anything that has to happen, I'm there just at the drop of the dime. Now, was there an Uncle Sal somewhere down the line? Yeah, I'm sure there was. Yeah, <laughs> there was probably a few of them, actually. Yeah, I believe there was, yeah. And how would you describe How would you describe the ambiance for folks that have not visited Uncle Sal's in Old Scottsdale? School. You know, just like a place if you were to walk in the street on New York, you know, walk right off the street into a small little Italian place, you know. Pretty old school, nice, comfortable neighborhood place. And if you were in an elevator and somebody says, "What's what? What kind of food do you serve?" What would be maybe the top three or four items that oh are must-haves in Uncle Sal's? Uh, probably the filet gorgonzola, um, the rack of lamb marsala, mm -hmm. you know, the chicken champagne which I have here today, the tortellini alla panna. It, it, you could just go on for days though. You know, there's so much on the menu that's just so good. Now the tortellini alla panna. Tell me about that. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a cream sauce with fresh cheese tortellinis, mushrooms, peas, and fresh prosciutto. Now, the gentleman sitting next to you, um, Alex Quintara, Quintana, sorry, Alex, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I, I'm doing great, and it was so funny to hear you. I love the conversations that happen during the conversations that happen on the show. And I think you said something like, yeah, people order this way too much. <laughs> yes, yes, that's one of those I, dishes. I love that. I mean, people absolutely love this. It's a very, it, it's a yummy, yummy meal. I mean, it's rich, but people go crazy over this, right? Absolutely. You know, we have customers that come in and they want to try something different off the menu. We have quite an extensive menu, but they always go back to the one they had the time before and the time before, and it's always the same dish. You know, I'm so guilty of that, too. If I find something on the on a restaurant menu, I just never want to veer. I will do the same thing. Stephen, are you the same way? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you find something you know me. That, uh, I know. You find something that you love, and you absolutely don't want to try anything no, else. So, Alex, you've been at Uncle Sal's for, you've worked there for the last, what, four years? Four years I've worked there. But you've been hanging out around there for a long time. What's uh, your relationship with Uncle well, Sal's? Well, uh, Jimmy and his brother Nick are uh, two of my best friends. We grew up together. We went to school together. You know, we both have kids. I think Nick, Jim, and I both had our uh, kids born literally within a week of each other. You know, our ch our children. So birthdays are celebrated at the same time. Yeah, and like, I, like 11 days apart. That's days amazing. Apart. Yeah. And how would you describe the ambiance and the food at uh, well, Uncle Sal's? It's a very good neighborhood atmosphere. Um, you know, we've got the checkered tablecloths on the table. And the dining room isn't very large. You know, we fill that place up every night. And we just serve customers good food, good neighborhood atmosphere, they know us, they know the restaurant and the history, and uh, it's just got a good neighborhood vibe. From what I understand now, you were saying that customers come from all over the country, referred by the folks right here in Arizona, and what's the attitude when they walk in? Well, a lot of the, our customers from Chicago and New York, they, they instantly do not want to like it because nothing is ever going to be as good as it is back home. All right, I'm here, but I'm not going to like yeah. it because it's not like they have not, in New York. How is the gravy? Is the gravy any good? <laughs> of course it's good. It's the you best. make good sauce. If you yeah, make, make good, good sauce, sauce, you're going to make it. And so, but we're able to convince them, we're able to convert them over to the 
to uh, the Uncle Sal's taste there. They love it. And then they become weekly visitors there. Gosh. And that's the thing. Some say it's better than back home. I mean, they, they really do. That's the best compliment. They just wouldn't say it in front of their mothers. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Jimmy, that's got to be the best compliment. When you've got somebody from New York or Chicago, you know, places that really know good Italian food, and they come here and they say, oh, okay, I found oh, a place where I can I can come. It feels great, yeah. When, when you spend that, that much time in the kitchen cooking for everybody and they act, absolutely enjoy it, it's a good feeling, yeah. You look pretty comfortable here in our uh, in our studio kitchen. Yeah, it's something I do every day. You know? You've got lots of saute pans going. You've got some wonderful things happening here. So what are we going to start with? Well, we're going to start with a mozzarella caprese. It's a fresh tomato, buffalo mozzarella, you know, um, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, fresh basil, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, um, little uh, marinated um, artichoke hearts and some Kalamata olives. The, the uh, caprese has been, it's, it's really sort of mainstay American now. And it, I remember what, what maybe 10 years ago when people were just saying, what is a you know, caprese? But I think that now it's really become so mainstream. It's really one of the most, the tiramisu as well. And you have that on your menu, right? Absolutely. Good. Yeah, we make it fresh every day. All right, so we've got the guys from Uncle Sal's. It's on the southwest corner of Hayden and, and um, Osborne. Osborne. And if you frequent Uncle Sal's and you love it, give us a call, 602-260-5394, 602-260-KFYI. When we come back, we're going to sample a little caprese. We'll have a little... Uh, chicken champagne and you're making that with what pepper and the pepperoncini pepperoncinis pepper roasted red peppers some fresh champagne oh boy and then we're going to work our way through that tortellini oh yeah. man i think i'm going to be one of those customers that eats it too often yeah, too much forget, too don't often about dessert though we don't let you leave without eating dessert so. yeah and then we, we're going to find out about some other items on the menu including they're really known believe it or not here in the valley for the fresh fish where do they get it? What do they serve? And what do their customers love? And then we're going to talk with Stephen Clausen about kitchen design because it's really interesting. We sort of put notes together, and the trends that were just starting back in 2004 and 5 are now 